Why is your time now? I just did. You know I've been doing music my whole life. Yeah. For the most part, so. It's always been in me. I just always supported other, you know, people. Even outside of school, the school wouldn't be the first person that I stood in the background, you know, for and just kind of took a step back. Lex Chapo came when I first started writing, I was like, I need a name. So me and Fetty was talking. Who's Fetty? Fetty is now my engineer and my main producer. I was the school's personal assistant. So, you know, before I was his assistant, I was with my friends. So that's who I was hanging out with, you know. So it's like, okay. Everything is kind of like organically happened. But well, why it still stands with me is because... You know, two people very close to me were lost behind the name. So, for me, the history, you know, is now being built up and what it meant and what it was worth, you know, to them. So, that definitely plays a major role as to why I still, you know, hold the name. Well, as far as me, Beyonce. Like, no, yeah. Definitely Beyonce, because a lot of her lyrics and stuff was my actual life, so that definitely always inspired me. Um, Sade, the singer, I always felt like her personality was so... <laughs> um, outside of music though, people that actually have inspired me, um, I would definitely say right now, like my radar is on the owner of this company named Milano Darush. Um, I think that she is beautiful. Yeah, it's so much that goes into being an artist versus like just like being in a studio. Being in a studio is such a small part like of it. Um, you know, you have to think about the people around you that are affected. Like right now, you know, like my team and stuff like isn't like that big, you know, and the support that I get, you know, with things. So right now a lot of my tasks are kind of like done like by myself or like, you know like the day of stuff like my cousin like she'll help me a lot like planning out things um and, you know to things that I need her but you know even down to just building the support around you you know and building the consistency in that and building like the all around like how do you think it feels to perform at a show and have nobody show up to you know kind of be like your hype you know people like all those factors like really matter you know being an artist like and you know you always have to be like your biggest cheerleader but it's like just a unity like unify like to, for people to see that people support you that really makes or breaks a lot of artists I feel like you know in the sense of your performances and being able you know to perform and then just like balancing like after I recorded I mean it gets to a point sometimes where I'll record in the studio for like days upon days 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 to escape a lot of the reality and stuff that I go through like a lot of the problems I go through it's like I had to balance out my my life like you know my life right now outside of my music I have a lot going on. Like, I'm going through a divorce. I'm only 24, going on 25. I have two children, you know, in the middle of that. So to escape a lot of the pain, like, I go to the studio, you know, and stuff like that. Um, at the same time, like, I was like, I had to tell, you know, the studio I was going to, I was like, I got to take a break. Because it's like, I can't allow the studio to take over my work life, you know, my personal life, you know, and things like that, which outside of the studio, outside of my kids, I don't have a life. Like, I love to be social and be around people, like, and see my friends and stuff like that, you know, and people I've known for years, but I'm not as social as I used to be. I'm not as outward as I used to be with people and as trusting of people. People, man. Oh, my wife. Yes, yeah, shit. What? 
So how do you stay motivated? I'm the first lady of hope. Felt so much pain to her and unspoke. Not a bitch of mama, she hope. She a real killer. And knowing that people don't think that I can do it. And people wanting to see me just stop and to just fail. That's how I know I'm onto something. Like, when you start to receive backlash, shadiness, you know, and more so like from females that I know it was like, no, it was like, people elevated me and I didn't even realize it. Like, people placed me like, when it's just like, I'm still working. Like, I haven't even dropped anything yet. You know, you got people blocking me. You know, I'm, I'm getting arguments with people. Just stuff that's just so out the norm. Like, because I got in the booth and I did something with myself and invested in myself. And it sounds good.